Hey wizards, guess what? It is Kieran Ashhammer, and I'm back for another episode of the Dual School Fire and Storm walkthrough. Last episode, guys, we took care of a scorpion. It did take a while to take care of it. And, well, guess what? We gotta talk to old cop. Let's do this thing. Very well done. I am most pleased that you did not die. Almost as pleased as I am. Use the stinger venom to unravel the metastasis arch. This will involve pain and effort. Important work always does. For once, though, the pain will not be yours to endure directly. Okay, wonder what he meant by that. Let's head to the Metastasis Arch. No? Well, very good. Well, anyways, guys, just want to say big thanks to everybody who's watching. Remember, there's three free ways you can support the channel, like a lot of you have already done. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And, of course, don't forget to drop me a comment. The comments have been fabulous and awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Ooh, here we go. Look. The arch. Okay. In fact, this deserves a pick. Okay. Run it's raveling. It's too late to change my mind. I'm really not so sure about this. Ah <laughs> Look, Wait, it's a mantis. The pain will pass. Spellbinder, you should not have risked yourself for me and mine. But I cannot thank you enough. Oh, we're so good. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay, okay, I, uh, I was stuck. There we go, there we go, okay. Well, old cob, what do you think? She is correct, but such is life. You have done much to unravel the webs of the spider magi. You have hurt them in their inner sanctum. By breaking their control of the shadow web and proving their transformations can be undone, have made them fear. Worse for them, Morganth is in her own looking glass world. She cares not for the brief little dramas of the Hive or Sardonics. The Magi are in a blind panic. If you break their spirit, they will open the way of night, leading you to the Shadow Palace. Enter the chamber of the Orb Weavers and do Arch Magus Lorcan and the Elder Magi. I will do what I can to aid you. Way of night. Well, guys, it's getting real. Okay. Uh, I wonder how bad of a fight this will be. Well, we'll find out in just a second, guys. There we go. Three, two. So now I see with mine own eyes the last final hope of the fifth column. You, this, are what the burrowers have rallied around. Uh, we're winning, Lorcan. You tiny, weak, pitiful wretch. You are what has been a burr to the great and terrible Shadow Queen. We have groomed her to be the deadliest wizard in the spiral. Every card she casts can shatter mountains and burn seas. Even should you somehow defeat us, you must face the Dark Woman in her place of absolute power, the Shadow Palace! So it shall be. The children of light and shadow, the children of prophecy, shall duel and decide the fate of the spiral. Who is this that accompanies you? No. It cannot be! Destroy the wizard! Destroy them both for the honor of the Shadow Queen! Hey guys, sorry about the quick cut. So it's been a day. I missed an episode because I had lots of corruption in my video files. I'm not sure exactly why I had the corruption in my video files, but I apologize for that, guys. So, yes, we did defeat the Archmagus. We kicked his butt left and right after he killed us three times, but we did solo. Sorry we missed that, guys, but that's okay. We are now here in the Shadow Palace, and we are in the last few last few parts. So, um, oh, by the way, got a new mount. Yep, I uh, used some of my um, membership 
free points to buy a couple packs because I really don't like buying packs. And but um, but since I already got the membership, I used my free points for packs, right? And I got a permanent mount. I'm so happy. I really did want this dragon. I thought it was cool. Anyway, so guys, I'm so excited to be hanging out with you guys again today. Um, also, I went ahead and did some maintenance. So if you'll notice, my health is now 200 more because I went ahead and added some jewels to my. Um, to my items that were jewelless. I didn't realize I had so many. And um, we are ready here, guys. This might be a long episode because we are working it, and I think it's time to defeat Morganth. Let's talk to Old Cobb. And here we stand on the edge of shadow. The spider magi built this palace for their chosen queen long ago. But Morganth has refined and reshaped it in her image. The enormous weight of energy Morganth released in Azteca threatened to crush her, so she built an arcane brace to support it. It takes the form of a great tree, her Bartleby, of course. Moros watches and waits for her to master the song of creation. Face Moros the Doom Tree and force him to bridge the way to the Shadow Palace, or else we cannot continue on. Okay, guys, so we got the big Doom Tree fight. Let's uh, let's talk to Moros. I am bare, hateful Moros, the Doom Tree. I am the force that drives you towards your ultimate fate. When the Shadow Queen's song is complete, I will stand at the center of all things and hold up the Shadow Web. Allow you to reach the Shadow Palace? That will not happen. Step into the Celestial Archway and duel me if you dare, foolish wizard. Okay, and as I recall, this is going to be a tough fight, so... Okay, guys, I will be back in a minute once we have everything ready to go. Okay, guys, I went ahead and got some help. Not sure, don't remember how tough this fight is or not, but since I would like to finish off Morganth today, I brought some help in. Oops, I forgot. Let's get my deck ready because I'm tired of, like, having a hard time with decks. So, uh, yeah, I was doing some, tr some pet training earlier, so I had the wrong pet on. Let's take a look at my deck as well. I think that's um, fairly acceptable. Let's just go ahead and put another blade or two in. You know, you know, for the blade action, we don't necessarily need those shields yet because I don't know how that's going to work out. But there we go. And, um, you know, I think... I think my other guy should be in pretty good shape. Yep, I think I'm just going to make sure he's ready. It looks like he's ready to go. Okay, so Kieran Ashhammer, our friend, has come on in. But let's head on into the big fight and see how this is going to go. Ooh, that... Face me, little wizard. Face the roots of impending fate. Face doom! Scratch your face! Rip your hair! Break your nails! Tear your skin! Crack your bones! Shred your... Boy, these are fantastic, aren't they? I hope just the two of us can handle this. Okay, well... There's nothing to do it but to do it. Okay, well, this is going to be a tough one, I'm pretty sure. But... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, wow, that is some big, big help. Best thing to do for us is to get a big, big hit going on. So let's go ahead and get some blades going. And um, I think he's probably going to help out too with some hits and everything like that. So for sure. For, first off, he's going to aggro them. Because if they start ganging up on... If they start ganging up on me, that's going to be a problem. But if we can get Ash Sandhammer over there to aggro them first, then maybe they'll focus on him. Good news is we did get our first, um, what do you call it? First hit, so. So that works. Oh, that's nice. 
Gotta love that. Very good. Well, I bet you we can breed more us. Yeah. Wow. Four bosses. Tough fight, guys. Tough fight. Yep, I knew this was going to be a, strong, a tough one when we walked into it. I hope everybody is still doing great. I'm having a good time hanging out with you guys. And it's been a journey to get through these first two arcs, hasn't it? Well, hopefully, we'll be able to finish it out. So just so you know, we are officially, okay, we are officially on quest number 273. So there's only four quests left. Okay, four quests left. They just have to be really long, really long, or really big fight quests, yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, that's nice. So we went ahead and got a, um, got Stormlord, which is exactly what I was hoping to see in here. Okay. Um, I'm going to not worry about my Shadow Strike. And let's draw a blade and try to get the blade going up again. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. I think, um, my other guy does not have anything that he can do at the moment. So, um... Yeah. Sometimes the deck is confounding, but that's okay. It happens. It happens. Nice. The pet is in it to win it. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, four bosses that have fairly high health. This, let me tell you, when they were when they were building up the dungeons and this arc. Um, they were, they were, they're challenging fights still. Yep. They're challenging fights, even with a max level with you in the fight. If it's just the two of you, just because they hit you so many times, it's, it's kind of tough. And they got good attacks, too. It's not like they just kind of like, you know, backhand you or anything. I mean, you're taking full one punches to the face. Okay. Well, well. Okay, he's going to keep aggroing them while I am saving up for a, um, sheesh. Should I go ahead and hit? Yeah, let's go ahead and hit. I only got the one, the one thing, but what the hey, right? Got to watch my health. My health is so low. See, like, Ashhammer, he has such a, he's a great tank, but at the same time, I'm sorry, Ash Hammer's not a great tank, but Windhammer is. Windhammer's a great tank, but at the same time, you know, we just got to get rid of these guys. So it's going to be a combo. Ooh, that was a, you know, respectable hit with one blade. Oh, look at that, my pet. That, I'll tell you what, you know, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, I well, saw that coming. Okay, let's see what these guys do. Yeah, the, the balanced one with all the big hit action there got me a little bit concerned. Let's get that blade up right now. And, um... Ah, once again, Ash Hammer didn't have anything it could cast that would be useful at this point. How strange is that? The deck, the, the deck gods are not with with, um, I'm sorry, with Sandhammer. Yep. Yeah, yeah too, bad, uh, too bad you can't see the spells that he's putting together. I think that would be um, fairly, fairly useful. Oh, sorry about that. Don't know what's going on with the screen there. I'm just trying to get it all fixed up. Okay, well, 
That's just going to be stuck there for a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Pet is on it, isn't he? What should I do? What should I do? Well, let's get rid of these guys, because what we need is we need a good AOE. <clears throat> good AOE to finish these three off, these four off. Okay, I think we have a nice big hit ready to go. Just need the spell now. Ooh, this could be a bad day. Oh, okay, that, that, was, a lot, that was better than it should have been. Okay. Ooh, that might be the one to go. Let's get that up. And... Do a little bit of that. Kind of exciting. I think it's exciting. Okay, we can get a big hit in here. I just need the pips. Oh. Well, this will suck. <laughs> ooh, 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 don't kill me. Not good. Okay, so I'm stunned for two rounds. Hopefully these guys won't, won't kill me off. Oh my goodness. Terrible position I'm in. Not feeling this. Not happy. Of course. I should have done some healing action. That's terrible. Okay. We got to um, do something about this. sucks. All those blades I had saved up and everything. Just bam, gone. Okay. And my pips. All my pips. Oh, and I haven't changed my deck. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I hope they aggro on Sandhammer for a little bit. Give me a chance to um, let's fix my, my um, pip thing. Jeez, that was, ah, oh, oh, oh man, so disappointed right now. Okay, but we 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 can't be messing around here. I guess I'm kind of messing around here, but still, that was that was brutal. Okay, if I die again, I think we'll just do what we have to do to win the fight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> At least that was the last one. I'm still alive. What should I do? Look at that. What a great um, thing. Well, we're going to um, do a one-two punch. Why not? Let's do a one-two punch and let's finish these guys off. Punch one. Blocking my criticals. Why those dubious guys? One down. Oof, look at him go. He doesn't like that, does he?
And punch number two. Oh, ho, ho, he doesn't like that, does he? He didn't like that one, did he now? Nope, didn't like that one either. I am bound, bent, and broken. Moros? I feel you shaking and trembling. The loops of power slipping from your branches and threatening to come undone. What is hap- What? You? How? Oh! You are the proverbial cat with nine lives. The bad penny. The albatross around my neck. I suppose I should be surprised, but little surprises me anymore. Where is Merle and his ridiculous council? Afraid of the dark? Are you all alone now, little wizard? Interesting. Nope, I think I'm um, perfectly okay. Oh, I don't have this quest to get the ball here. Oh, this is so annoying. I should have gotten that quest. Well, life goes on. That means I'll have to come in here. Ooh, we got a um, elder's armaments. I've never seen that one. Have I? Oh, I bet you I have. Huh. We'll have to take a look at it. Okay, guys. So, we went ahead and got that taken care of. Let's give old Cobb... Oh. Let's talk to Morris first. Let's see. There now. The Celestial Bridge spans the abyss surrounding the Shadow Palace. You may cross to find your own particular doom. Excellent. We may cross, and it looks like Old Cobb is already headed. Sorry. This is like a great place to get comet tails. Actually, there's quite a bit of cool. Look at all the reagents around here. Wow, what a great place to farm ores and things, guys. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm sorry. But pretty neat place. I mean, did you just see that? Look, there's even mushrooms and stone blocks and ores. All basics for what you need to build and craft stuff. Okay, let's go. Ah, uh, the bridge is set. Ooh, comet tails. The bridge is set. Let's go across. Ah, uh, the Shadow Palace. Okay, let's talk to old Cobb. You were visited by Morgan's shadow in the other plane. Is to be expected, but this is the end. There is nowhere for her to run. Can you hear the Lords of Night singing for Morgan? I fear she has nearly mastered their song. It is up to you to free them. I cannot walk with you in this place, for Morgan could steal what little of my strength remains. She nears the end of her ritual. If you release her captives, it may anger her enough that she cannot complete it. Okay, guys. We are about to go into one of the more challenging dungeons. Be back with you in just a bit. Okay, guys. So, I was looking at the new weapon that I picked up from uh, Moros, and it's called the Elder's Armaments. I didn't know about these, and it looks really good. If, this, if I was running a balance guy I would totally arm this thing look at that plus 17 damage that is one heck of a killer weapon at level 100 now I was looking at him and unfortunately I was thinking about going back and farming for some of these wands you know but as I was looking at him and there's several of these ar armaments that are available unfortunately yeah unfortunately none of them give me the right combination of storm and fire Oh, King Zal, you're killing me. If you're going to put great weapons like this in, make sure there's an option for almost any combination of schools. I don't think it'd be that hard to um, set it up. You know, they just got to sit down and figure out what the, um, 
what it would be. But boy, yeah, that, I was I was a little disappointed out of that. So if you get to go to um, go check them out, you'll see that there's lots of great combinations, but unfortunately not for one not one for Fire and Storm. They do seem to be like they're all combinations of an element school and a spirit school. So if you are doing a dual school element and spirit school, I would recommend farming these at this level because these are some pretty nice weapons. And again, the whole idea behind the dual school is to try to find the best the best gear as we go through it, mainly crafting gear, or if there's a gear to be um, farmed, that gear as well. And this, these weapons right here would be pretty, pretty fantastic if they had the combo you are looking for. Now, again, um, I would highly recommend looking into combinations that are spirit and spirit and elemental combinations because they do give you a lot of flexibility. You know, the downside with doing that is then the um, spirit and element blades um, don't don't dual 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 hit with each other. So anyway, sorry. This is the dual school walkthrough, so I wanted to like share some of that information with you. Okay, so looks guy guys, we've got to defeat Morgan's Guardians of Shadow. So we're gonna go ahead and in, get in there. And um, the, the, this is a tough dungeon, guys. We've got several fights in here, and yeah, there it's it's not gonna be good. So we're gonna give it our best shot. Maybe just between the two of us, we can do this. The Shadow Queen has elevated you to your level, Wizard. It is time for a rematch of the most dangerous game. Sorry about that, that there, guys. Wow. When one has made a decision to kill a person, it will not do to think about doing it in a long, roundabout way. The way of the samurai is one of immediacy, and it is best to dash in headlong. Okay, well, you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to get the um, the tank to go in first. And that way, maybe he can draw a little bit more of their damage and stuff first. Okay, so what should we do? What should we do? Ooh, hey, that is not a bad option if I can get the pips up. Let's do that. And... He's going to prep as well, just because we know how these fights are going to be challenging. Very good, very good. Okay, so now we are in the... There's like three big dungeons here at the end, or three big bosses. And we are going to see some um, familiar faces, as you guys are already noticing. We've got ourselves some Craven action, and he's going to try to shut down our ability to heal. Okay, and then we've got the Ghost Dog. And if you remember, these guys were pretty challenging just um, by yourself anyways. I mean, I know guys have sold them out. I don't think I sold either of these guys because both of those fights when we fought them um, kind of tough for a solo guy unless you well I'm sure there's strategies out there there are guys that do it and I've seen the videos and um, more power to them. I felt it was easier having some backup. <laughs> okay. So this is what we want to do is we need we got several of these galleries and um, they're not easy. They are not easy. They are going to try to crush you. They're going to try to blow you away. Yep, see, here we go. Cheats are popping in. And we um, we need to I gotta make sure I'm checking my deck too. I forgot to um make sure that I was having an appropriate um, set of things in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think the only way we win this is if we work together. Up oh, here he goes. And I believe his cheat is the same as when we fought him earlier. That that's what makes this challenging, is because we got two of these guys doing this stuff. They bring in extra minions. I mean, it would have been just challenging enough to face them as bosses that they are right now as they are but with the with the extra minions and the cheats oh well, yeah it's um it's a fight guys it's a fight okay i am just waiting for two more pips i'm really just waiting for two more pips we're going to um the poetry of war yeah oh wow didn't really get much there 
Ooh. Split this. What can I draw? Perf. Well, yeah. Fire is perfect. Fire is perfect. Let's get that on there. And, um... I wonder if I can faint this guy. We'll try fainting Ghost Dog. Yeah, we need to get rid of... Wow, 20,000 health. I forget. Like, the biggest health that we have to deal with on bosses on a regular basis are basically... Azteca and Chrysalis, because when they were doing a lot of the development and they were and they were and they were setting up the level caps and and that was one of the primary reasons beside the cheats was the extra health and stuff that you had to fight. You'll notice when we get to Polaris that a lot of the bosses don't have the huge twenty to thirty thousand health, and in fact, a lot of the big bosses from this era, if you go back and look through some of the some of the um, guides you can find online, like on Final Bastion. Um, their health has been nerfed quite a bit um, from where they originally came out with it. Yeah, they used, like, some of these guys had double the health that we see now. Like, the, like I believe these might be two of them. I think they had closer to, like, 30,000 health. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a thing, guys. It was a thing. Okay, I say we do this. Um, I'm going to hit on Cravenly, and then... Um, we're going to do a double attack on these guys. Maybe between the two of us, we can finish them off. Yeah. Yeah, Craven particularly is tough to do solo because he's hitting you every round with those um, damage over times. And once you get about three of those going, it, it brutalizes you. It just beats the heck out of you, you know. So it's 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 one of those that can be um, that can be fairly fairly challenging. Did I say that a couple times? Yeah, it's it can be challenging. So and especially when he's nerfing your health too. Yeah, your your um healing stuff. Good, good. The tank is drawing the pain. No, he's not. They're going after me. Oh, boy. Yeah, we can't let this fight go on anymore, right? Oh! What are these going to do? See, this guy scares me. He has, uh, he has some pips. Wow! What is with this? What did I do? Jeez. What the heck? Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can finish these guys off. Tell you what, it's a good thing um, we didn't come in here alone. That's all I have to say. Okay, can I finish him off? Let's see. Yep, so he has a cheat. I didn't realize that was cheat. Oh yeah, because you want to, oh, did he? Oh, he better not. Are you kidding me? Oh, I hate these guys. see here and I can't heal him at the moment wow so so ticked right now okay well we're not we're not walking away but man that cheat was terrible I forgot he had that cheat that he just like hit you twice so yeah just more evidence that trying to solo these guys is not the way to go or should I say it's it's a tough one Wow. Wow and wow. We were about to win. We were about to win because I'm pretty sure that I would have finished them off. And they're going to bring war, right? Ooh, I'm 
going to go ahead and get a blade up because we have to get rid of these guys. We're in survival mode right now. Still, like if we were all, if I had just a bunch of one level guys here, still a tough, tough dungeon. And we, we are only in the first fight. <laughs> Ooh, these guys are brutal. And the particular cheats these two guys had were, like Craven's cheats, pretty, pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough. Okay, so Sandhammer is going to hit him again because unfortunately he doesn't have any heals in his deck at the moment. And honestly, we don't want to lose the fight because Kieran Ash Hammer is too busy trying. I'm um, Kieran Ash Hammer is trying to get healed. I don't think this will finish him. No. And yeah, maybe I should have shaved up. Yep, nothing I can do about this at the moment. I really don't want to do that. Okay. Let's do this. It's unfortunate that he took that shadow pip I had grooming right there. Okay. If I can heal myself back up, I will. Yeah, I forgot with Craven that his main hit is if you don't take him out with one hit that he does that strike back at you. That was that was pretty terrible. If he hit, if he didn't go for my other guy, it probably would have been fine. If he just would have focused on the guy that hit him, I think that would have been okay. But that was a pretty brutal sheet. Well, I think we're ready to finish these guys off here. I do got a heal. I would like to be alive when this finishes off. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. It's a good thing I got a little bit of resist going on. But you can still die by a thousand paper cuts, too. Yeah, that death hit. Brutal. Oh, I forgot that's there. So that heal is not going to be nearly as effective as it could be. Hey, at least I still have all my pips. You know what? Let's do it. Are you kidding me? Come on. What is this? That's, that's, that's terrible. I just get healed up and he targets me? That's, oh man, this game. Sorry, that, that's just, that's, that's bunk. That is bunk right there. This kind of makes sense because he was an, it's an AOE. But that was, that was, um, 
that, that was uncalled for. Craven, that was, that was, that was, that was dumb. Sorry, not, not, not a fan of the cheat right now. Not a fan of the cheat. Wow, I went through that effort to set us up. <sighs> and heal. I should have just, yeah, anyways. Wow and wow. Yep, so. Wasted pips. Now, yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay, I am so tick, guys. That so annoyed me. Okay, so what did we learn? What did we learn from that ridiculous fight is that we just need to wipe these guys out before anything can possibly happen. Yep, it does not matter. Um, that's all we want to do is we want to completely wipe them off the face of the earth in one hit because it gets stupidly ridiculous after that and I'm not playing that game anymore. Okay. So, so unhappy. This will be a long episode, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Don't even know what to say about that. Eh. I will say this is one of the tougher fights in this gallery. Yeah. Because these two guys paired up together, they are a pain in the butt. Their cheats are interesting. You know, the other ones, I think it's um, not as bad. I don't remember. I, I don't think they're as bad. But these two are a particular, particular pain in the butt. Well, I don't want to hit him because I don't want Craven Lee to um, kill, to bust me up. So we'll pass for the moment. And we're going to continue to build up the hit. Because here's the truth Craven Lee needs to die first round. Yep. Like, you know, the, the guy that I. The, the boss, the one boss that's always given me the the issue that I hate seeing over and over again was always Balak, right? Because you see Balak so many times, and every time he pops up, he's just a headache. He's an, I don't know, he's always been like the most annoying boss that I've ever messed with. Malister never bothered me, but but I'll tell you what, Balak, all the time. The only one that's even come close to ticking me off is Cravenly. okay? Cravenly is the only other one that's come close to ticking me off. And we are going to get rid of Cravenly. The other two guys, I don't care. Cravenly has got to go. I mean, the other guys will get rid of them. But Cravenly has got to go first round. Do, 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 do. Oh, man, they are just freaking ganging up on me again. That's okay. I mean, if these fights were, you know, if these fights were meant to be easy, you know, there wouldn't be any fun. Wouldn't be any fun at all. Okay. Craven Lee's going down. That's all I have to say. Going down. I don't think Ghost Dog has the same issue if you only hit, get a percentage of his um, of his health. Okay, well, do we, do we think we have enough to do the final hit? 
By golly, yes we are. Ghost Dog is going down. Then it's just about keeping me alive after that point. Good, 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 good. Why are they why are they going after him? I don't understand that. I mean Dude, does the amount of blades you have up draw aggro? Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know how they program this stuff. You know. I always thought it was like if you hit them or something like that, that usually draws it. And, I, and usually it does. But these guys seem to be pretty aggressive towards the poor guy on the left. Okay, that might keep him alive for a little bit. Actually, got some health in me this time. That's good. Okay. By all accounts, this should be enough to knock Cravenly out. That's four blades. It's a big 80 and a crit. That's what we need to see, guys. Yeah, and that should be enough to get rid of the two minions. So now we can focus all of our attention on the ghost dog. So, ghost dog, how you feeling now? You feeling pretty good still? Let's get a blade up. Ooh. Will not be bad. Uh, messed up. Okay. And should I attack? Yeah, let's attack. Okay, good. He used a round for that. Anything to weaken him just a little bit more while I save up a few more pips. Yeah, like that. Okay, okay, well. Yeah, he stole all my pips. Scoundrel, he did that last time too. We might have been able to beat him last time, but we had lost all those pips by that point. And so, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Well, let's draw. Let's do that. The nice thing about the bosses and Chrysalis, I don't think they, I don't think they, I don't think any of them automatically get rid of your, um, your feints when you throw them on there. So that's always nice. Now, just so you know, I never looked up any of the cheats or anything. Probably should have. That probably would have been smart on my part. But I'm just working through them as any would-be adventurer would, as he is. Yeah, I don't want that. don't need that. Let's try this. Ooh, well. Uh, we're not going to use him. Let's try. Did I already do that? I think I already did that. Let's kick this. There we go. That blade will be perfect for me. And he can do this. And I gotta fix my deck. It's still not showing the right pips. Golly jeez. And this is just the first gallery.
Well, the good news is I think this guy's finished, so we can move on. Ooh, this will be an unfortunate hit here. Okay, good times, guys. Good times. Wow, we stacked a lot of blazer, didn't we? There we go, guys. Victory is ours. You are a true beast at bay. May the hounds of Zadolf take me! It is said that what is called the spirit of an age is something to which one cannot return. This spirit gradually dissipates due to the world's coming to an end. Thus, it is important to make the best out of every generation. Magician, free us from the shadow chains. Very good. Let's save the Night Lords. Or Lords the of Night. The Shadow Queen has forced us to serve in her celestial choir. She compels us to sing in order to learn the song of creation. By freeing us, you may slow her down, find and free her brothers and sisters. But even doing so will not be enough. If you fail to stop the Shadow Queen, then all of this will have been for naught. Yep, there we go, guys. That is the big deal. That is the big deal. And this time we've got a deep Balor and Santa Maria. Santa Muerte, sorry. Santa Maria. What was I thinking there? Okay. Well, this should be pretty exciting. Very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get their speech out of the way. Wizard, I was raised in the wilds of Avalon and battle tested in the arenas of Dragonspire. Interesting. Wilds of Avalon? He's a bear. Santa Muerte was stolen as a chick from Zafaria and raised on a diet of death and fire in Azteca. Ah, okay. On our own, we have destroyed armies and enslaved cities. You may have beaten us once, but now our strength is combined. This is the reckoning! You fear me? You should. Would you like to know how this will end? I have seen the breaking of the sky. The Shadow Queen will scratch out the sun. And scratch out the earth. She will scratch you out and end the spiral. Well, she seems pleasant. Okay, well, you know, we're going to be smart about this. And we are going to put the tank in first. Then let's get in ourselves. And, um, ooh. Okay. So, 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 so. Options. Options. Options are not bad. Let's get a big hit going as soon as possible. Bam. Yeah, well, we expected this. He's a storm guy. He's going to be hitting us with stuff. As I recall, he wasn't that tough when we fought him before. Ouch, that hurt a little bit. But they are coming out swinging, though, guys. And unfortunately, we don't have the initiatives. That means we got to be careful because every t every chance we have is after their chance. So we're going to be taking damage, taking hits, or get weaknesses or a variety of different things before anything. Yep, there we go. So no doubt about that. We knew that was coming. Okay, let's see here. What should we do? What should we do? 
Well, that's not going to help anything. Let's be honest. I'm not going to use any of these things. Uh, let's make. Sh let's go ahead and set this to the right school. Let's try. Perfecto. We'll add that in. Stormlord would be a great. Well, actually, it wouldn't be a great one. And she's death fire. Fire would be much better for us to get. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. Oh, yeah, we got this. Now, the question is, do we have to worry about cheats? I mean, what cheats do we have to worry about? Because we know we got double cheats here. And I forget if they if they have a strike again after they get, after they get hit. I think the smartest thing is to get the biggest hit possible. Perfect. That's what I want to see. I want to see my fire dragon hop on in. We'll add this blade here. And we need to make sure that Baylor goes down. Actually, we need to get rid of them all. Problem is, we're going to take a variety of hits right now. I'm just hoping that Ash Hammer can handle it. Because it is not guaranteed that we're going to be able to, that, that we'll survive, as we have seen. Yes. Yeah. What concerns me is the minions, because those those hits can come in and you know get you down to the point where like one big hit from the big guy can finish you off. At least these guys aren't um, doing the anti heal attacks that we got from Craven. That sheet sucks. I hate getting the anti-heal stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Another blade. Okay, well. I can do Fire Dragon, but I'm not sure if that is going to be the best course of action. There we go. Let's get one more blade up. Wow. I think we need to do double hit. That's what we need to do. Glad that they are working through their pips aggressively. Muerta is concerning me though. Okay, we hit next round. Uh, fizzle. Fizzle sticks. Fizzle sticks. Okay, we're going whole hog here, guys. Let's um, let's just do this. Oh, look, we finally got that. I don't know. Let's just go for it. I forget what cheats will kick in when, where, and whatever. So we're just gonna see. What's the worst gonna happen? We can die. Oh, well. We knew she had something saved up. As long as I'm not dead, we can... We can at least get rid of the minions. Look at all those great pips I got. I can probably heal after this attack too, so that's gotta be a thing. Okay. Here we go. This will soften them up, get rid of the shields. Especially on Santa Muerte. There we go. Now, 
Let's see how effective our fire dragon is going to be against these two. It's a lot of blades, right? We can hope that it'll be reasonable. Ah, uh, yeah, not not what I was hoping for. But what you're gonna do? Well, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna follow it up because what we learned from last time, it doesn't pay to save up. Ooh. Glad he's not hitting Ash Hammer. That probably would have killed Ash Hammer. Luckily enough, um, Sand Hammer has uh, has a little bit of resist going on. Oh, was that a cheat too? Yeah, it was. That was a cheat attack that he did. Okay. Ooh, yep, she's planning my doom. That's not good. Okay. So as long as our two attacks go out unabated, one. Yep. With these fights, you can't hold back, guys. You just gotta go in. Excellent. The bear is down. My turn now. Defeated again. I cannot believe it. <laughs> now the Wizard of Light, armed with the Sword of Kings, breaks down the mighty bear and goes forth to battle Shadow. Shadow Queen, I am no more, and I have nothing left to give. Magician, we have seen you fight through death and fire and storm and still stand triumphant. I'm trying, Kukal. The Shadow Queen has taken from us our home, our honor, and our song. Focus your will into a tight beam of light and break through her shields and wards to stop her ritual. If she wins, the song of creation will become a lament of suffering that resonates through every last being in this spiral. Okay, guys, we got one more, and once again, it looks like... Yep, we've seen these guys before. You have crawled far on your two stumpy legs, Shadow Blight. Where is your guardian now? It is fitting that your last vision will be the glory of the Shadow Queen, seen with your pitifully few eyes. This guy talks a lot. You have no idea how thrilled I am that you made it this far. It is a perfect to know that the blades of lightning and shadow will clash here. Our battle will be accompanied by the song of creation. The death of the spiral and the birth of the shadow web immortalizes us. Okay, two balance guys. That's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Let's make sure that we have appropriate... Um, spells ready to go because I don't want to run out of um, extra blades. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Well, um, let's send the tank in first. Balance on balance. I forgot that our tank was balanced. And he ran out of health, so... Looks like we can use a similar strategy. Let's go ahead and get some stuff up. Build that hit. 
Now, as I remember, Lorcan wasn't super aggressive last fight. But he did have some interesting cheats. I, I don't remember what, what our what Lord Umber was like. But he is starting off pretty aggressive. Ouch. And we did not get initiative, so that's going to be a challenge again. Oh, yes. It's all about the blades, guys. It's all about the blades right now. Let's get the blades up. This is going to be one of those where we just do hit after hit after hit. No playing around. We got to get rid of these guys. And we got to be aggressive in doing it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, what should be the best option here? Okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. He's going to do this for right now. In the meantime... We're going to have that as well. That could be an option. Let's make sure we get some blades up. Yep, 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 yep. So, we're going to wait until he gets out of that mode. Now, if he... Ooh, if he takes a hit, I wonder if he'll end up um, sacrificing his magicism, magicism again. That was um, what he did last time. Ooh, I'm glad I decided to heal him because we do not want to be in a position where he di where my guy dies. Oh, are you kidding me? I hate these guys. There we go. That should be helpful. Okay, okay, I think we need to get rid of the Elder Magistrates and put some pressure on these guys. At the same time, let's do this. Let's double strike. I don't want to play around with them. It sucks that we got hit with that negative 45, though. Oh, that's annoying. Well, at least it hit him and didn't hit my bigger hit. Good, good, good. Okay, and let's hit him with a big fire one. Should be a good hit, right? May not be as big as I want it to be. But yeah, a reasonable hit. That keeps Lorcan from healing. Well, from taken from his minions, that is. Okay, I want those pips to come up as much as possible. Let's do let's do this. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. It'll be okay. Okay, good. He's down. We've got one guy left. I don't remember his cheats, though. 
We just need to be aggressive and we need to get him done. Well, just in case we get a good storm spell that's cheaper. Sorry, trying to get all my ducks lined up in a row. Oh yeah. I'm just kind of worried what Lorcan might try to do, because he could probably get a big hit and I forget what his cheats are. I don't think he was the toughest of them all, by any stretch. I think the first two were the biggest ones who had the most cheats and were the most challenging fights. I say... I say let's finish them. We're not going to play around. This is not a time to play around. Okay, I think we're good here. Yep, there he goes. There we go. We did it. Raven and the spider. Such a thing cannot be. I did not foresee this outcome. You have my grudging respect, wizard. Tell Diego he trained you well. Matisan, is it you? Yes, Kutui. You have freed us from the malevolent Shadow Web, but the Shadow Queen has learned all she needs to know from us. You have but this chance to stop her before she fully makes the Song of Creation her own. Know that the Lords of Night are with you in spirit. And unfortunately, guys, ooh, we leveled up. That's all we have for today. The final penultimate fight will be next episode. This is Kieran Ashdown for a Dual School Firestorm walkthrough. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment. Hey, hey, and have a great weekend.